hello there welcome to a new video series i'm gonna be calling drag strip on this channel where i will be testing dual sport bikes adventure bikes uh, enduro bikes whatever i can get my hands on and the acceleration times on those bikes i will be using racebox mini s to do these tests it's a highly highly accurate uh, gps device that you can use with your car or uh, with your motorcycle, even with your bicycle if you like to. You can measure lap times and you can measure acceleration times, deceleration times and all that kind of fun stuff. So Racebox was actually kind enough to give me an affiliate code that you can use in their web shop and get minus 15% of their all their products on their on the website. So I will be putting all the information down below. So the first bike we will be testing is this Honda CRF 300L. It's a bone stock bike. There is only some minor modifications on the fairing and all that. But the engine, air take, exhaust, everything on this bike is bone stock. I haven't even changed any corks in the drivetrain. So this is a stock CRF 300L. I know this test is a kind of, kind of a rough test for this little bike because it's going to be ending at 120 kilometers an hour, so 75 miles an hour. So if there's even a little bit of a windy condition and moments of wind, it's going to affect the test a lot. And you're going to be seeing that there's a lot of variation between those runs, but we will be clocking the best run into the Excel sheet that you can find in the description. And the next bike I'm going to be doing is going to be most like the, the Tenere 700. And after that, there are going to be uh, a lot of these competitive bikes. Like it's interesting to see if the Tenere is a lot slower for, let's say, the Torex 660 or the Transalp 750 or the KTM 890 or 790. So subscribe to see more of these videos I'm going to be doing all the bikes that I can get my hands on this summer. So let's get into the test and see how fast, or in this case, slow this Honda CRF 300 L is actually. <laughs> so let's get the bike started and head out with it. I know it's nighttime already, but there's a reason for this. Roads are a lot clearer. There's not much traffic now. So it's much easier for me to test it out. So I already tried this out a few times in the daytime and it's actually quicker for me to uh, accelerate with the second gear or already in because the first one is so short so let's do this the first one Second one, so that was way faster. Let's do it again. That was hard, really hard. I had a trouble, trouble sometimes to even gain 120. Probably because I have some some kind of a headwind at the moment. So I will do a couple runs going backwards as well. So we might have a better wind wind condition going backwards. All right. 
Alright, what much faster, much faster. back in the studio analyzing the results. So here we can see the times from 30 to 120 kilometers an hour 16.6 .6, and from 20 to 75 miles an hour 17.06 on the fastest run and it took me almost half a kilometer 430 meters to gain to do this test and the max g is half a g so the honda is definitely no rocket ship <laughs> And uh, slope was 0.4% on the minus, so it's so small the change from 8.1 meters to 6.2 meters. I'm still going to accept this test as a, as a success. And this is the test that I'm going to be clocking in the Excel sheet down below. And I know there's a lot of opinions on how this test should be run. My opinion is that I should be running this from 30, not 0, from standstill, because that's going to... That's gonna include a lot of rider error in the future test. So it's better to do this as a rolling start to get more stable results. And I don't wanna do anything more than 120 because that wouldn't be street legal. So I don't wanna get ticketed for doing this test. If I can get access to an airport or some drag strip, I'm gonna do unlimited testing at some point, but that's maybe someday. So yeah, here's the test. I know there's a lot of opinion on how I should perform these tests, but opinions are like assholes, as, as you know. <laughs> and I can't please all of your opinions. You have to understand that uh, I need to do some kind of a middle, middle ground. And I hope this is good enough for you guys. So see you on the next video, which is probably going to be the Tenere 700 video. Bye.